Did I just get sprayed by this skunk? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's story time today. It was so insane and so horrifying that I had to make it a video. It's actually not that bad. I'm over exaggerating per usual. So the other day I got attacked by a skunk, a fucking skunk. Now that I'm back in Michigan, I live in a pretty more, I don't wanna say woodsy area, but it is more woodsy. I'm still in like suburbia and city life, but my house part particularly is surrounded by a lot of trees, a lot of bushes, a lot more woodsy, kind of, you know, it looks like campy kind of vibe. I don't think we're in LA anymore, Toto. So I had gone out to Applebee's. First of all, let me, before I even get started, let me give a quick shout out to motherfucking Applebee's. I love Applebee's so much. I, <gasps> Listen, I know we're in quarantine and I know Corona is still very real and, you know, we still got to be very careful. But let me tell you, a bitch ris risked it for that dollar drink. Shout out to Applebee's for every month they have a different drink that is one dollar. One dollar. For the entire month of June, the one dollar drink is a Long Island iced tea. Now, if you know what a Long Island iced tea is, you're my kind of person. And if you don't, you need to get one because it is one of the most delicious alcoholic beverages you can get. It also is one of the strongest alcoholic beverages you can get and it tastes amazing. So that's the drink. Go to Applebee's. Also, if you're worried about Corona or um, breaking quarantine, don't worry too much because Applebee's has set up amazing guidelines to follow. The second you walk in, there's it's like a grocery store. There's only one-way paths you can take to get around the whole restaurant. The bathrooms have a one-person occupancy. There's hand sanitizer stations around everywhere. And at each table, there are disposable menus. They've quit the reusable menus. There's no seasonings, no sauces at the tables. Everything comes individually. Each waiter is wearing a mask as well as gloves. And they change their gloves for each table they go to, they get a new pair of gloves. So you never have to worry. When they bring you your tray, you take your food and your drink off of your own tray. They don't touch it at all. It's absolutely amazing. I love Applebee's. I love that they care so much. So now that Applebee's is sponsoring me, <laughs> I wish Applebee's, please, please sponsor me. But so I had had three Long Islands and that's kind of a lot, but only $3 for three Long Islands. So by the time I got home, I was feeling pretty tipsy and I'm getting out of the car. And as I get out of the car, I thought I saw a huge bug fly into the car. I live in very woodsy areas, as I already said. So there's tons and tons of bugs and they're big. Um, so I thought a huge bug went into my friend's car and he is like freaking out. He is totally flipping out. I'm like, okay, calm down. So I just get out of the car. I kind of like rush a little bit because I thought like, a big bug was coming to get me or something. That's why he's freaking out. So then I get to my driveway. I get to the top of my driveway. And from the bottom, my friend's in the car going like this. He's freaking out. And I'm like, bro, what are you freaking out about? So <laughs> I look up and I see the biggest skunk walking right past me down the driveway. I then later find out that when I got out of the car, that skunk was right by my feet when I got out of the car, which is why my friend was freaking out so much. So if I had not had three Long Islands from Applebee's, not sponsored, um, I might have not been as so carefree and calm as I was when getting out of the car. And that could have been really bad. And boy, do I wish that was the end of the story, but no, there's more. As I notice that the skunk is walking past me down my driveway, I freak out a little bit and run to my front door, full sprint, take the fuck 
off, I dart. Um, it's like it's a horror, like horror movie. movie. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. running, running. running. I get to my I front to my door. door. I'm, I'm stumbling, stumbling to put, to put the, the keys in the door, door. freaking out. out. It's so it's scary. scary. I, 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 finally I finally get my keys and I get the door unlocked. I get in the house, I shut the door. I'm safe, or so I thought. When I turn around and look out my front door window, the skunk is on my fucking porch. Literally could not have been more than three seconds behind me. Meaning that this skunk was out for blood. My blood. He followed me from my driveway all the way up the pretty long path to my front door and then up on the porch. He was coming for me. So in my drunken state, when I turn around and see there's a skunk there, I freak out. I literally started to cry, sobbing, tears, because A, I was drunk, and B, I watched too many horror films, and C, I was like, did I just get sprayed by this skunk? Am I drunk enough that I'm not, didn't notice that maybe I may or may not have been sprayed by this skunk? So I start freaking out. It's about close to midnight. I march upstairs and like a five-year-old run into my mom's room, wake her up and start crying and literally screaming like I was just like attacked or something. Like I was so... <laughs> It was probably so funny to be my mom, but also irritating because it was midnight and I woke her up and I'm almost a 24 year old adult. Um, but I literally was so freaked out. My mom was like, get the fuck off my bed if you've been sprayed, oh my God. I luckily, the man upstairs was watching me because I did not get sprayed by the skunk and I have no idea how I did not get sprayed between like the three encounters that I had with the skunk. First, getting out of the car. Second, the driveway where it walked past me. And third, as it followed me up to my porch. I thank my lucky stars that I did not get sprayed. Oh my gosh. And then that night, I could not go to bed because every sound I heard, I jumped. I had nightmares all night about this killer skunk and was so terrified because this. I thought this, this skunk had it out for me. That's the only explanation. I don't, I don't even want to talk about it anymore. I can't, everything's fine. I'm fine. The skunk is fine. Nothing smells. I smell great. So thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also subscribe down below for more videos. Also comment down below for what you want to see next. Come on you quarantine commenters. Tell me what you want to see. I'll make it happen. Please don't unsubscribe. <laughs> As always, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Bye.